Hello, lions. This is your environmental science famous environmentalist video helper. You're going to go to readylibrary.com. You are going to click on environmental science famous environmentalists. When you click on this, the Mac and Via group is linked on the click here. Uh, this video will be linked here and embedded down here will also be in your Mac and Via group. So if we click on this and we open up the Mac and Via group, up here in the view instructions is your very important information. This is your project sheet and your rubric for this assignment. There are two days worth of assignments and information. So you're going to want to pay attention to that. Both I'm going to include in this video right now as far as what you need from uh, from me for this assignment. So day one, you're going to pick an environmentalist, one of these environmentalists, and you're going to research that person using Mac and Via sources. You need all of this information right here. Person's name, date, place of birth, date of death, educational background, uh, at least three environmental contributions, con concentrate on contributions to environmental issues. Uh, be specific and concise. All these things right here are what's required. So you're going to pick an environmentalist, and over here in Mac and V, I've listed them here, so you can make sure and spell them correctly when you search. Okay, so if you are even remotely concerned about spelling it wrong, then make sure that you copy it here, and then come down here. I suggest that you start with Britannica School. Britannica School is an encyclopedia so it's going to give you a little bit of information about a lot of different topics so I'm going to put in my uh, person here and I'm going to choose the article now uh, for this if you want to use any of the pictures in here for your uh, day one video project all you have to do is click on the photo and then click on the cite button right here and then you can um, grab this citation Oh, let's go back just a second. The other thing that you need to do, I forgot to do this when I was showing you, is you need to start a references page template. It's going to come up. You're going to see a preview of your APA references page. So you need to keep your citations on the references page. So I'm going to click Use Template. And now it's going to make a copy of... Sorry, that document in my Google Drive. So now this is my references page, right? So if this is the photo that I want to use, I'm going to copy and paste this citation, and I'm going to throw it into my references page right here, okay? Now I can also, of course, use information from this article. So if I wanted to use information from this article, I'm going to copy and paste this citation right here, and I'm going to put that in my references page as well. Okay, so you'll notice the difference here is this one says image, and then this is the article information. Okay, so uh, that is Britannica School. So that is one of the sources you can use. I would suggest you start there. Another great one is Student Resources and Context. You can go here and put your person in. All right, so I'm going to put my person in up here. Oh, no, I forgot. I copy and pasted a... Yeah, there we go. All right, Jane Goodall. Search. All right, so you'll notice that over here it tells me the different types of sources in this database about Jane Goodall. There's three reference sources, 11 biographies, three images, etc. Again, with the images... If there's an image in here that I want to use, I can um, click on that image. And then I'm going to click Citation Tools. And I'm going to choose APA because we're using APA citations. And I'm going to copy and paste this onto my references page. Any information that you're using from any database, you want to put the citation on your reference page. I'm going to go back over here to results, and I'm going to click on biographies, and I'm going to click on this one, and you can just kind of scroll through some of these different ones and see which ones give you the information that you need. If you want to use the one that you pick on, that you pick, or when, whenever you find one that you um, like, just copy and paste that citation into your citation, into your reference page, okay? So that is uh, 
student resource and context. Science and context is very similar to student resource and context, but you can look in both and see if there's any different information in one versus the other, okay? For your day one, these three resources should give you what you need for your day one information, okay? Uh, then you're going to come down here and use your tech menu to create your video, all right? Day two. Now we're going to get into day two. Day two, you have to create two more items. You're going to create a speech and you're going to create a digital badge. So you're going to use the same Mac and Via group to research for your speech, um, okay, and your same references page. So on my thing here, it says I need to uh, research my environmentalist. Uh, which I already did, and now I'm going to research issues, or I should know what issues my environmentalist was most passionate about. Was my environmentalist passionate about, um, you know, wind con or, uh, wind energy, or was my uh, environmentalist passionate about the forest? What, what was it that they, and they may have been passionate about more than one, so you need to pick one issue. You're going to research that particular issue, and you're going to find two to three people, organizations, companies, or countries that have addressed that issue in a broad way. Okay, so for instance, if your environmentalist is all about um, forests, so if my environmentalist was passionate about forests, then I would want to find um, people, organizations, companies, countries that have addressed forest conservation. Okay, so I would come over here to Mac and Via. And you're going to probably primarily use these two databases for this uh, research. So I'm going to click on this one. And I'm going to put in forest conservation. Okay. So there's my topic. So now I'm going to be looking for how are they, who and what are doing forest conservation, and how are they doing it. And you're, again, going to pull your citations, same as you did before, and put them on your references page. You're just going to collect all of your citations for day one and day two on the same references page. And then what you're going to do is you're going to think about how you can apply uh, what those people, organizations, companies, or countries did in a broad way to your to environmental efforts in a local way here at Reedy High School in Frisco, okay? So for instance, if my thing is forest conservation, then my uh, local solution might be to, um, you know, to plant trees. Plant trees in, in and around the campus or even in Frisco, you know, find out from the local uh, government where are places that we could plant trees, okay? So that, that might be my solution based on my research. So you're going to write a speech to persuade the Reedy student body to implement your solution on the issue that you chose, okay? So again, same Mac and Via group, um, same references page, and then you're going to go through, and the document where you're keeping your references is where you can go ahead and put your um, speech. So what you can do is you can insert a page break right here, and so now my references are on this page, and so now I'm free to write my speech on this page. And then what this document is showing you to do is you need to share this doc. So the one that you are using as your references page, you're going to go to share, get shareable link. Anyone in Frisco ISD can view, and you're going to copy that link. Okay? So this link is what I'm going to submit when it comes time to submit my project. Okay? So you're going to, there's a couple of things down here Mr. Drew's going to talk about for creating your badge. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come into your class's slides. And it's very important. There are three different templates. There's a water, there's a leaf, and then there's an air. So depending on what most applies to your issue, you can pick one of these. Um, I'm just going to pick the leaf. And so what you do is you right click on it and you click duplicate slide and you'll see it duplicated it right underneath but you need to move your slides down so that the three templates remain up there and then here you're going to put you know your name and then you're going to put that link the persuasive speech link you're gonna link that right here so I'm going to paste that link in right there and then your video link you're going to put here and you'll notice how I did that. I highlighted the word and I went up here to the link, insert link, and then I pasted my link in right there, okay? And then your badge, your image, you're going to add in here. So you're going to go to insert, image, 
and then you're going to probably upload it from your computer or your Google Drive wherever you end up keeping it okay so that is top to bottom uh, information for this uh, assignment if you as always if you have any questions you're gonna be in the library for two days feel free to come ask me or if you uh, want to email me you're working on it at home Lambert in at frisco uh, I'll be here to help Good luck, lions